Hi, I am Susan from So Much More and today I'm going to show you how to turn a plastic bag like this into a folded up piece like this, which then you can then turn into one continuous strip of yarn like this. Okay, so you get your bag, you get the ends of the bag, pull them out, flatten your bag out, you fold it over, so lining up the edges, and you flat it out again. You get your ends from this edge, you fold towards this edge. Then you, you want to fold along that line there. And you just keep folding along the middle line. Like this. Until you get to the edge here. And then you can open up your bag. There's like a little flap in the middle there. You take your bits. And you tuck them in. So then you've got little containers of your plastic bags that you can use to store in your bag. You can take them with you or you can use them to store them in your house instead of big scrunched up bigs and they actually store a lot better this way. Now to make your plastic yarn like this, I open these up and cut off the ends here and along here. So I'll show you how to do that. Then you open the bag up completely. Because if you don't open it up completely, there are times where you might have bits folded over and you want to cut it correctly. And so then it just makes it a lot harder at the end. Open it up, lining up the sides, and flatten it out. And then you get from your end, end, and you bring it towards the top. but leave a gap so I've got it about two or three fingers you can have it however wide you want it or not take your other end and you fold them up to this line here and you can fold that back up as many times as you want So I tend to do it feel like till it's about two finger widths, just because I find that more convenient. And I use my fingers as a guide. So see how we've got the, this flat bit here, and then we've got this folded up chunk here. So what we're going to do is then cut along this bit here into chunks, leaving this bit here as it is, but we want to completely cut up this bit. So I use my fingers as a guide for my width. And then you get some pretty sharp scissors and you cut your strips. So maybe from this side you might see it a bit better. So I'm just cutting to the top of this line here. You can do them thicker or thinner, it's up to you. I find that this width is a good width for spinning, either using a drop spindle or a spinning wheel. This particular set of grey bags, these are just shopping bags, grocery bags, and these ones do biodegrade, so you do need to be aware of that. Some bags are more biodegradable than others. Now see how we've got it like that, all the way along. So now we need to open up this top strip and I pretend it's like a glove. And I slide my non-cutting hand into it so it's flat. So then what we're wanting to do is we're cutting diagonally. So Cutting to the side, you see how there are 
these bits to this. So we want to cut diagonally across. So from edge to edge, from point to point. So I'm going to cut from corner to corner here. And just do that all the way along. You can use this for spinning, you can use it for knitting after you've spun it, or just crocheting, knitting or crocheting it as it is. You can use it for tying up uh, plants, you can use it for making baskets or bags or shawls or even mats. A good one to use is for making mats for homeless people or even just around your house if you're into that sort of thing. I would suggest though to make sure if you're going to use it as a mat for somebody to sleep on, try to make sure that it is the non-biodegradable bags because then they will last a bit longer. But then again, if they're biodegradable, then eventually, hopefully, they would break down. Some are better at breaking down than others. And they still go into the environment no matter what you do with them, though. So, okay. So here we have my big pile. So let's just have a look. If it does break, because some bits are thinner than others, you can just tie them together or just leave them the way they are. Let's see, have I cut this up correctly? Let me bring that over so you can see the file as it goes. And there we go, a ball of continuous plastic bag yarn or plan. There you go, enjoy.